Today, I rode my bike to a place which made me feel as if I was teleported to Tibet. I am talking about the Zonchen Monastery, a place where you can find immense culture, a place with spectacular mountains, a place with unique structures, a place where you will truly find yourself at peace. The route which I took is the Bangalore Mysore Expressway and once I reached Madhur I had to take a deviation towards Malavalli but I lost all my energy because of this uncountable speed breakers along the way. This ride is cl uh, closely up to 200 kilometers. You people be the judge and uh, you know you guys decide if this is worth a one day ride or not because 200 kilometers for you people is it's a very long journey. But uh, for me, this is nothing man, 200 kilometers is just like some biscuit rides, you know. So if you guys are new to this channel, my, uh, myself Kishore and I travel, I do uh, long distance touring on my bike. And some one day, you know, trips like near Bangalore, I do that also. But uh, most of it will be long touring. As I was peacefully cruising on the highway, I saw this huge lake with numerous lotuses spread all over the surface of the lake. In fact, this was the first time I ever saw so many lotuses at one place. It was truly amazing sight to witness. After soaking in the view of this beautiful lake, I continued my journey and all of a sudden the view changed from these boring highways to huge mountains and immense greeneries. So this is Kaveri river flowing. What a location man, what a location bro, what a location and that is a dam over there, uh, I, I don't know if you guys can see, the dams are opened actually, see, wow, if the route that leads to the monastery itself is so, you know, beautiful, then imagine when what kind of location the monastery will be located. So I took a deviation 500 meters before and from that time the, ro the roads are okay okay because uh, there are many potholes see even now you guys can see the roads are damaged a little bit so yeah that is one thing okay look at oh solar panels oh. What a crazy amount of solar panels. I took a very small break over here, so now seeing these mountains and and this is something else. Seriously guys, but you have to visit this place because Bangaloreans they mostly visit all this uh, Nandi Hills and Talakadu and yeah those are also good places. But I don't think many of you Bangaloreans even know about this place but uh, yeah that's why I am telling you do visit this place. I have still not yet reached but the route itself is so good so good everywhere it's a little bit of fog and then misty mountains yeah i can call it a, i can call it as misty mountains it's good it's seriously good 
Okay, so I'm into some forest region and I think I'm climbing a hill. I have no idea what is this, what place is this, I don't know. But the drive is like ultimate, bro. Wow. Seriously, man. Oh, elephant crossing zone. This is a forest area <coughs> and it is a different crossing zone. Will I be able to see any elephant? No idea. Oh, I can see a different dung over here. Okay, oh, this is the entry, wow, T village, K village, all sorts of village, nice. S village, there is something about the village names, T village, K village, S village, Wow Man, these people are lucky man They are staying at... Oh Oh wow Okay Let me first visit... Uh, let me first visit the main temple And then I'll, you know, visit this oh. Oh, there is one monastery over there, I can see. This is the entrance. Okay. The moment I entered Dondiling settlement, I felt I was in Bhutan or somewhere in the northeast. After the Zonchain monastery in Tibet was destroyed by fire in the 1950s, the Karnataka government and the Indian government together decided to donate around 3,200 acres of land to the Tibetan refugee people. This place has five monastery settlement in total and a few schools. It is also one of the cleanest villages I have ever seen till now. For a moment, I felt I was one among them as I was soaked up in the tranquility of calm and peaceful environment of the Tibetan culture. <laughs> 